Hey everybody, welcome back to In the Kitchen with Ken. Today I'm cooking up some grouper chili rellenos and they're gonna be delicious. What I've got, I've already got everything kind of cooked up and ready to go, but I'm gonna start out, I've got a little bit of garlic here. I've got about six cloves of garlic. they are gonna drop down in some, a little olive oil. I've already got some oil in there. Um, then we're gonna put our, I've got one Vidalia onion that I've diced up really nice. I've got some cayenne peppers and some jalapenos. And we're gonna take this, really I kinda left some garlic in there, I don't wanna lose that. We're gonna let this cook down until these peppers get clear. And then we're gonna add our tomatoes on top of this. I've got two big old fresh garden tomatoes that I cut up to put in here. And while that's going, I wanna to talk to you about our our poblano peppers. I went over to Country Fresh Market over there off of uh, Carolina Beach Road and picked up some really beautiful large poblano peppers from them. And I took those and I, I put them in the oven at 400 degrees, probably for about 30 minutes, covered in a little olive oil, and just let them kind of crisp up on the outside, blacken a little bit. And then I pulled them out, let them cool, and I peeled off the outer skin, and then I de-seeded them and took, took out the veins and everything in them to use them for, or to use the stuffed peppers. All right, you can see our onions, the garlic and everything, they're cooking up really well. Now I'm gonna take this, we'll add two big old tomatoes to that. Get that nice and stirred up. Oh, those fresh tomatoes smell delicious. Okay, now to this also, we're gonna add a half a cup of water and a half a cup of orozo. It's a little rice, you can just use plain white grain rice if you'd like. We're gonna get this all stirred up, let this cook for a little while. Let that rice almost cook through, but not quite because it'll cook a little bit more once we stuff our peppers and put those in the oven. Really get this stirred up well. All right. We're gonna let that go for a little bit. And while that's cooking, we're gonna get over here and start working on our poblanos. Now I've got some queso, which is a Mexican cheese. It um, really melts well. And I, I've, I've got it cut in these nice long strips. Um, that way that'll, it'll kind of coat the bottom of it. And then we'll put our other ingredients on top of that. <clears throat> almost, it's almost our base that we're kind of building on. All right, now that this is about finished, we're gonna add a little bit of salt to it. Just a little. And some fresh pepper. All right, now to this, this is where we're gonna add our grouper. What I've done is I've taken our grouper and I've cut it up in, in just small little chunks. Um, we're gonna take this, we're gonna add this down here. It's about a pound of grouper, one really large filet. I'm gonna stir this up. And when you stir this, just be kind of gentle. That grouper will already start cooking up. And that's okay. So what we're gonna do once we stuff those peppers, put it in the oven. Um, it'll help it cook up a little bit more too. I didn't want it too cooked. All right, that's going good. I'll pull that aside. Now I've got a lime here. I'm gonna take, squeeze over to this. Give that grouper some nice little citrus flavor. And I wish you were here to smell this. This smells so good. All right, let's bring our peppers over here. Start stuffing these things up. Go ahead and turn this down a little bit. You want to be careful when you're doing this because these peppers are really tender. You don't want them all falling apart on you. I've already got one that's totally in a danger zone, but it's okay. You'll still be good. And then it's just a matter of getting these all stuffed putting a little bit more cheese in there with them, getting it in the oven, letting it finish up. All right, 
Just getting our last little bit in this one. More pieces of cheese there. Now we're going to coat this up. Just top it with a little of that queso. I know this is all going to melt down all inside this pan. Be all nice and gooey. So it's okay if you drop a few here and there. All right. Now let's get this in the oven. Probably for about 25, 30 minutes. You just want that cheese to melt at about 400 degrees. Okay, now that our poblanos have been in the oven for about 20 minutes, we're going to pull them out and see how they are. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Cheese is perfectly melted. Good color on top. Let's get in here and get a little taste of this. Little bubbles going on. Piece of my fish. Look at that cheese. Mm. Oh, that fish is so good. With rich texture from that cheese and those tomatoes in there. A little bit of that rice. It's excellent. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's recipe and I hope you give it a try. We'll see you next time on In the Kitchen with Ken. Bye now.